I Rahul Agarwal, Assistant Professor in Biani Group of Colleges, welcome all of you on behalf of Guru KPU. Friends, today my topic is basic command in Linux or Unix. So Linux or Unix, we know that Linux or Unix is a very powerful operating system, very secure operating system and Linux is open source, Linux is free of cost. So we all aware about Linux or Unix. Mostly work of Linux and Unix are similar. The difference between this Linux is open source while Unix is not open source and Linux support GUI while Unix don't support graphical user interface. But today our topic is about basic command. What is role of basic command in Linux or Unix platform? This is a very powerful command in Linux. We can do multiple calculations. Basic task of BC is provide calculator like facility. BC provide calculator facility. That means we can perform multiple calculations at here. And it is very powerful. We will see in this lecture that what operations we can done in BC. Some operations can be performed by using only BC, not by any other calculator. So it is very powerful and we can perform basic also advanced or scientific calculations by using BC also. So how to use BC we can discuss in this lecture. At first how to use BC command? We all know that a command is based on terminal. So at first we have to open terminal and then simply type BC. If you press BC, then calculator be open. Here we can perform our task as we want. And when our task is completed and we have to move to other task, then we have to close the BC command. To close or to exit from this, press Ctrl plus D. Like if you press here, Ctrl plus D. Then we exit from BC command and can perform other task. So number one, how to use BC? It by default we got dollar symbol known as user prompt press BC and enter. Perform your task and then control plus D by this we exit from BC command. Now we will discuss what type of operations we can perform it here one by one. So the basic first task by which we can do in BC command is simple arithmetic operations. Simple operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, modulus, remainder and division we can perform here. 2 5 plus 4 we get 9, 5 minus 4 1, 5 into 4 2 0, 10 modulus, modulus is remainder, it return remainder. Divide 10 by 3, 3 times remaining is 1, so we got 1. And last is 5 by 4. Here we get 5 upon 4 is equal to 1.25, but result is 1. 5 by 4, 1.25, but here we got 1. Why so? Then 5 by 4 is 1.25, but we get 1. What is the logic of this? The logic is very simple. Like in other any other programming language, integer upon integer is equal integer. This concept is also following Linux. Integer upon integer is equal to integer. Then how we can get actual answer? Actual answer is 1.25. How we can get 1.25? This can also be done by using BC. For this, we do some other process. The process is, so if we, if we want to get exact value, then we have to use scale command in BC. BC support scale. Scale show date, how many digits we want to display after decimal point. By default, scale is zero. So no decimal point value. Like at first by default, we are not changing scale, 
then the scale is 0. If we press 5 by 4, then we get only 1, not 1.25. If we want value of after two plus after decimal point, then we have to use scale is equal to two. By this scale is set up to two decimal points, five by four, we get 1.25. So number one, we can do basic task. Number two, we can get resulting decimal point by using BC. It is very important concept. Whenever we do division, then result may be in decimal point, then we should use scale to get exact answer. If here scale is 3, then answer will be 1.250. And if scale is 1, then result will be 1.2. Getting this point? Now, we shift about third task of BC command. The number third task which we can do by using BC is exponent operator. BC also have a special operator known as exponent operator which calculate power. Exponent symbol is used to calculate power. If we need a raised to the power b, then use symbol caret a caret b, a exponent b. Like 3, this means 3 square. 3 square is 9, 5 cube, this implies 125. Number four task which we can do in BC command is that we can also store values in variables. In normal Kelsey, we cannot store values in variable, but by using BC, we can also store values in variable. So, like A is equal to 4, B is equal to 2. A raised to power B means 4, 2. 4 square is 16. A plus B, 4 plus 2, 6. So, we can store values in variables also. Getting this point? Now, we shift on five use, fifth use of BC command. BC also have some inbuilt function and one commonly used inbuilt function is SQRT. It is very important function. By using this, we can calculate square root of a number. And square root function is used in so many programs like calculation of distance, like Polar to Cartesian, we will discuss programs by which we can do by using BC in our next lecture. So, number one function is SQRT, BC, SQRT of 16, we get, get 4. Now, that is SQRT 16 is equal to 4. Next is square root of, it is 1.414, but here we get only 1. Here we get 1. Since default scale is 0, which we have discussed earlier, if you want value of the decimal point, then we, we have to change scale. So I have set scale up to 3 decimal point. Then the result is 1.414. So these are some basic tasks which we can do by using BC. Some advanced tasks are also there like base conversion, like scientific Kelsey. How to use BC in our programming, which we will discuss in our next lectures. Thank you friends for watching this video. Please like, subscribe our YouTube channel gurukp.com. Thank you, thank you and thank you.